Hello YouTube. Today's presentation is going to cover the uh, the finished product as far as sanding is concerned. Now I have before me two bottles of uh, RIT liquid dye. Uh, I actually have Scarlet Red in uh, on the left here and I have Cherry Red on the right. Now as you may notice that I do have a towel dowel which is very similar in color or close enough to it to the handguard texture and the purpose of this video is I'm just going to kind of cover uh, what I have done um, I'm going to set the stock aside here for a moment I've done the handguard I went ahead and uh, let it dry for about two days now this is the the type of wood that I'm going to end up basically finishing with I did run it with uh, 200 I'm sorry 220 grit on this I still have yet to do the brass fittings but the brass fittings still look nice on there and I went ahead and refinished the wood uh, with the 220 grit left it real nice and smooth evened out a little bit of the texture down here because I did clean up some of the cosmoline that's here now keep in mind that when you do fire the Mosin the gun the barrel does get hot especially after about four to five rounds it will warm up and even the hand guards themselves will warm up so it creates that heat so you wanna uh, again also remove any obstructions that may impose by the hand guard uh, things like those little uh, raised grains from the wood now this is the stock itself once again 220 grit uh, you can see the the wood grain pattern very very nice okay I was careful with some of these cartouche markings you can still kind of sort of see some of them there and on this side of the stock which is the right side of the stock you can really see mo most of them now right now they may seem like they may have disappeared with the with the fact that I did sand it down but they're actually still there again this is a light sanding with 220 grit now there are some spots here where I try to steam them out like where I'm pointing out right here where the ejection port is uh, when the receiver would be in the stock and it did clean up a little bit but I still have some some dark spots there the same thing with down here near the trigger trigger guard section and towards the heel of the stock now with this what I went ahead and did is try to even this out as best as possible because the grain did stand uh, start rising and you do want to raise the grain a little bit but remember depending on how you go about doing this you may end up raising the grain regardless because again you're dealing with liquids and wood will still basically expand a little you do want it to raise and of course you always want to have it uh, you know pack it back down by sanding it and creating a smooth canvas to work with so what I'm going to go ahead and do now is I'm going to um, open up the bottle of RIT. I'm going to go ahead and test the uh, cherry. Of course, one of the things about this product is you can use it straight. A lot of people on the different forums did mention that when they were doing something like AK stock to try to achieve that com block red or Russian red as a lot of people refer to it, it really ends up being like brown. Some people will use really scarlet. Others will dilute the scarlet. Others will mix something like uh, the powder version of this with uh, an oil base. Now this is basically water based and so is this cherry. Okay, so again, you don't want to mix your oils with your water uh, based products because they'll react adversely. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and set this, this hand guard aside and I'm going to go ahead and take a, a patch here just for the purposes of trying to test the product and I'm going to go ahead and use it on against this dowel to see what kind of uh, end results we're going to have and again this is just a preliminary one um, to see my thoughts what I want to see is which one I'm going to lay down first now what they normally recommend is going with a light product and go to a darker and you can always alternate but just keep in mind that when you're alternating you always want to create consistency and of course when you dilute the product you always want to um, account for the fact that you may end up going with uh, more passes okay now this is the cherry red now of course it, keep in mind that it's gonna go on bright but once it dries it is gonna go lighter now once you use something like true oil it'll darken up the colors my whole objective is that I want to kind of have somewhat of a two-tone and uh, just come up with a unique reddish pattern for it now this is cherry red I don't know if the camera's gonna pick up very well on it and I do apologize that it is kinda dark 
but uh, out. So this is cherry red. You know, I did shake up the product. Now, some uh, one of the instructions on the RIT website says that you can mix half a cup of RIT dye and two cups of hot water uh, above 140 degrees. And what that's going to do is it, it allows for the dye to penetrate faster into the wood or the surface that you're dyeing. Uh, when it comes to wood, you don't have any type of need for um, salt or vinegar okay and you really don't want to have that because again that creates crystals and you don't want to have any crystals and that's why a lot of people when they do the videos and this is scarlet red by the way and here's my test patch to see what this is going to look like okay and I'm doing them side by side okay so what we have here is that the cherry red is going to be actually the darker of the two colors okay so what I may end up doing is putting down the scarlet red first okay and I may end up having to do one coat of scarlet red coat completely coat the stock let it dry come back and maybe hit it with the cherry red and as you can see the cherry red almost looks like the original mosaic finish with the shellac but in this case it may actually darken back into that but I just kinda wanna start with the light light color and in this case it is a scarlet red and I'm just gonna go ahead and quickly swab this area one more time to see and again you always wanna swab in uh, with the grain just like you would sand with the grain I do apologize for that moth and here we have it so I'm gonna start with the scarlet red uh, once I coat the stock I'm gonna go ahead and let it dry I'll show you what that looks like and see what the end result is. I'm going to do it step by step and then I'm going to come back to darken it just a hair with this and see it may not be as dark. Now it is slowly drying and of course you want to pick up any excess of the product. You are going to be doing this in layers depending on the depth and definition of the tint that you want on the wood. But again this is the closest test wood that I have that is similar to the color and the results of course are going to, going to vary but you can tell this is very very light compared to this which is very very dark so I'm just gonna I may put down one coat of um, scarlet followed by maybe one or two coats of cherry red see where we stand but I'm gonna pro uh, provide you the progress report as we go uh, so therefore you can formulate your own opinion as to how you want to go about it okay if you have any questions uh, definitely post them in the comments but again this is an ongoing project so we appreciate your viewership and have yourself a great uh, a great day and definitely enjoy your mozines. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the subscriptions.